Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with filtering the product. And in the last video, we went ahead and set up the UI that users are going to be using to filter out the product. And in this one, we're going to go ahead and make it functional. So if you want to see my videos like this, make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that we, we do as usual is open up our back end step by step. And over here, as you can see, we've got filter product by price part two. Now, this one, we need to add an ID to the filter button. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to head back to the product list real quick. And over here, there's the filter button. And I could just add an ID. You could call it whatever you want. Um, price filter or whatever. I'm just going to give it a price dash filter dash btn so the next thing we need to do over here is go ahead and send the mean price and the max price to the server in the filter products view so how do we do that now we need to come over take notes we already have this over here so we need to open up our views.py and we need to get the mean price and the max price in here okay so how do we do that now over here i think we should do that just just over here that's the perfect place for it now, what we're going to be doing, as I said earlier, is just get the mean price. So I'm going to say mean underscore price should be equal to, and you can call that whatever you want. It's a variable name. Should be equal to request.get. And this request.get, what do we want to get? We want to get the mean underscore price. And we also want to get the what? The max underscore price. So max price, this one we need to change it to max price. Okay, so now when we've done these two things, all we need to do is just go ahead and filter the products based on the mean price and the max price, just like just like we did over here. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm just gonna say um, product should be equal to. Then this one we're simply gonna say product dot filter, and we wanna filter by price underscore underscore greater than or equal to mean underscore price. So you need to understand what's going on over here. Remember that the products um, model over here has a has a field called price. Now you could use underscore underscore just like I would tell you guys earlier to get a field lookup just like in and greater than or equal to or greater than or less than. That's why you could use all those to get. Now we checked for the mean price. We got the, the price and got anyone that's greater than or equal to the mean price. Okay, so hopefully you understand. Now the mean price in our in our products is five dollar right now we simply grabbed the mean price and check if it's greater than or equal to this mean price that we're grabbing over here okay so if it's equal to that then we're gonna filter the products based on that else we're gonna filter the products based on the next one that we're gonna do which is gonna be the max price so over here this one is gonna be less than or equal to max price so since it's max price, it shouldn't be greater than the max price, right? It should be less than or equal to it. Since it's main price, it should be greater than it. Okay, as simple as that. That's pretty much what we want to do. I could tell you guys, just pass that all in there and we should be done. So now the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and I could just open this up. And you can see we'll go ahead and send, use JavaScript to send the main max to the server. And how do we do this? You could just open up your function. And um, I this one would be done. Remember when, when we worked with the... Uh, with all this over here. So this is where all this is gonna be done now. So just below the filter objects, that's where we could do it. We could say, let's mean underscore price be equal to what? Then I'm gonna get grab the mean price. And in this one, I called it max underscore price. You wanna make sure to add a hash over there because it's in an ID. And I'm gonna show you guys where we are getting that from. And I wanna grab the attributes. So the attributes is what mean. And um, not only that we're going to get, be getting the max price main, we also just want to get the value, okay? So this time around, we'll be getting the attribute or anything. We're just going to get the value. And for this one, we're going to we're gonna say let's max underscore price, okay? So this is going to be let's max underscore price. So all this is supposed to be let's. And over here also, this is supposed to be let's. Now, this main, pri this main price is just a variable. Now, we set, the, we, we set it to get the max price attributes, and it's going to get the minimum. Okay, and we also set it to get the max price, and this time it's gonna get just get the value of the max price, but we assigned it with two different variables. So this main price over here is pretty much this one that we that we got over here, and the max price is this one, which is this one. 
Okay, so hopefully you guys understand everything that's going on. Now, alongside these two things, one more thing that we'd want to do is to go ahead and, and filter object dot mean price and assign it to that. So you could you could pretty much copy that and um, we can't be doing that just down here. I'm gonna paste it down there. Let's let's adjust this. I'm gonna adjust this to the to the right place it's supposed to be. Now let me explain what's going on. So we grab this filter object. As you guys know, this filter object is the newly filtered data that we're getting. And we set the mean price. We grab the mean price that's there and set it to this mean price that we had over here. We also grab the filter objects, grab the max price that it's got and set it to this max price that we have over here. As simple as that. Now, finally, all we need to do is go ahead and add another selector to the list which is this one that we have over here which is this this filter thing over here filter checkbox now we need to add another one and remember this one that we have over here called price filter btn that's what we're going to be adding so in the function js i'm just going to open up quotes i'm going to say hash and i'm going to paste that in over there so when all these are done i think that's pretty much what you want to do all we need to do is just come back here and give this a hard refresh control shift r or control f5 we're going to give it a hard refresh and now let's try filtering this so if we hit filter now as you can see nothing is happening and does that make any sense no okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna go up a bit and filter okay as you guys can see nothing is happening and all we need to do is just go go ahead and um firstly i'm gonna give this a type of button let's see i'm just gonna get back here i know there might be a problem in the in the in the J javascript that i've written so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna check that out later okay so but before i do anything i want to go ahead and give this button a type of um a type of button okay so i'm gonna give this button a type of button as simple as that and now over here i'm just gonna refresh this and let's try filtering one more time okay not working now open up our console log and let's see what we've got so there should be a problem definitely now i'm gonna filter like this and i'm gonna hit filter so as you guys can see nothing is working nothing is showing up over here so what's the problem okay um one thing that i was looking at over here was this we are supposed to put all this in the same codes in the same codes over here so i'm just all i just need to do is just put a comma i'm gonna paste that in there alongside it and we should refresh this we should give it a hard refresh and let's try it out one more time so i'm gonna hit filter and um let's open this up so so that's it i'm gonna hit filter okay what do you notice i think it's working so as you can see it's got the product of the five the, the one with the five dollars and i'm gonna say between um five dollar and seventy three dollar and i'm gonna filter now what do you notice it's got the fresh pair and the banana now i'm also gonna get from the hundred dollars and i'm gonna filter and okay this this is supposed to be exactly 100.99 for us to get us so i'm gonna say 199 and you might not even still see it because you know there is a there is a lot of um this long floats at the back okay but what we could just do is we could go ahead and add in a new product or we could even change the price of that product but hopefully you guys get the gist everything is working perfectly well now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna drag this all the way to there and okay let's let's check out for this also um uh, i'm gonna come over here it's working now what i'm what i want what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and add a new product to actually confirm that everything is working perfectly well which is well you know i'm just you know kind of not trusting what i did so i want to go ahead and add an add another product to just confirm that okay and when that's done that's pretty much gonna be it for this video and the next one i'm gonna go ahead and start working with the with the add to cats okay that one is gonna be pretty amazing and i really love it so i'm gonna add a carrot over here and for this one i'm gonna say carrots and this is the product whatever for the price i'm gonna say that should be um let's just say 500 bucks right i'm gonna say five 500 other dots yeah 500 other dots and let's say the old price was about 1000 1000 yeah 1000 should be great and for the tags we could add in tags i'm gonna say carrots and i'm gonna say fruit and i'm gonna say vegetable and yeah that should be it i'm gonna make the this to be published and i'm gonna make it to be a featured product and yeah that should be it let's just go ahead and save this so i'm just gonna go ahead and save that and the product should get saved successfully so now if we come over here and refresh we should see the product over here this carrots now if we filter products from here to 300 dollars and filter and what do you notice we get a tree pretty cool right 
then if you throw it up by 500 now what you notice we got carrots so that's pretty amazing and fun so as you guys can see everything is working perfectly well and in the next video we're going to go ahead and start working with the with the add to cut as you can see that's what we've got over here I'm gonna get that real quick and as you can see that's what we've got over here and that's pretty cool and yeah that's what we're gonna be doing in the next video to make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as you really mean the world to me also if you want to get a template check out the link in the description below you should point it to the right direction to get a template and until the next video we're gonna go ahead and start adding to cuts my love peace out